Yo! Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC video. I'm your host, Jose Rocks. And today we're going to be getting into the top 5 returning Pokemon to prep for. So I wanted to base this list on um, just pretty, pretty much the Pokemon I feel that you're going to need to be on the lookout for. And these are going to be strictly ones that are returning in the Pokemon Home Update, not ones that are currently uh, in the format. And this is for Regulation D. All right, so let's get into it. So our first Pokemon that we want to talk about is our poster boy, um, Reginald. Regieleki. So Regieleki, why should you prep for this? And excuse me, everyone, I'm uh, a little bit under the weather. So that's why my voice sounds like that. But we still, you know, want to put a video out. So Regieleki, it's uh, naturally without any speed boosting, um, items or abilities uh, Regieleki is naturally the fastest Pokemon in the format right you just max the speed out and now speeds everything um, even scarf Pokemon uh, can't catch this um, the best thing about this um, Regieleki in this format now is that you have access to Terra so in uh, past generation generation 8 you would run like Electro Web <clears throat> Thunderbolt and then a filler move and protect, right? Um, I've seen like on Focus Sash, people will have like um, extreme speed. I've seen extreme speed on it. Just, you know, just some extra <clears throat> uh, moves. I've seen Eerie Impulse on it. I've seen a lot of things on it, but this is typically what you want to run. And uh, you could run Earth Power just so you're not completely walled by Landers, even though this doesn't really do much to Landers. <clears throat> and this is pretty much, you know, what Regilecki used to do. I also seen some substitute life orb sets. <laughs> but now that filler slot can be filled with a move called Terra Blast. Which is good on Regilecki because now Regilecki can tear it to any type. And, you know, potentially snipe things off. And, of course, a lot of people are expecting it to be like Ice is the best Terra type. So you can hit the grass types and the ground types that Regilecki usually can't hit. But I can see people, you know, getting expecting that Terra. And then getting really creative and going with other terrors, like maybe like a flying terror or something like that. Just something different than uh, what you would typically expect, which is the ice terror. Um, Regieleki is going to uh, most likely in this format be running Focus Sash. Um, I do see um, Choice Scarf actually being pretty good. Choice Scarf. And then you can just go another move here. Um, if you're special Regieleki, Regieleki can be special or physical, right? Uh, probably Volt Switch, right? So you have a, a nice pivot, so you're not stuck in. <clears throat> and I see this being like the main scarf set. And whatever terror that you want to go for, just so Regilecki is not completely walled by things. And this, and the reason it'll be scarf is for the fact that uh, Fluttermane and Iron Bundle with a, a booster energy attached to them outspeed Regilecki, right? And you want to be able to outspeed them and, you know, get your moves off so your opponents can KO them. And and in this format with Regilecki, you're only going to see Booster Energy um, Iron Bundle. You might see like Focus Sash or Choice Spec Steel, Flutter Man. It won't necessarily always be Booster Energy, but Iron Bundle is definitely going to want to be Booster Energy. Because if you're not, you just automatically get outspeed with Regilecki and Electro Web, which is going to do about 50% to you, maybe even more, because Iron Bundle is not that good on the special side. And then his teammate can just KO you next, right? So that's not going to, like, Focus Sash, Choice Specs, Iron Bundles, you're not going to see them ever. It's almost always going to be um, Booster Energy. So the next the next Pokemon I want to talk about is our number four Pokemon, which is going to be Cresselia. So why choose Cresselia? What's that? So Cresselia, um, the reason it's going to be good is because of uh, Speed Control. Cresselia is probably going to be the best trick on Pokemon, right? Um, it's bulky. Uh, it has good Terra. You can literally tear it into anything. Water, Steel, uh, Poison, Fairy. Those are going to probably be like the most, the four most common ones. And maybe even Grass, just so you get around like being spoiled by Among Us. And it's going to run Lunar Blessing, which is a new, its new signature move that heals it and your teammates. kind of like... Uh, Aqua, not Aqua, the, um, Life Dew, kind of like a Life Dew, and then most likely it'll probably be like Ice Beam or Psychic or some filler move, uh, Moonblast could be, 
power gym if you want to hit the arcanize and try to switch around and intimidate your trick room your physical trick room sweepers um i don't really see icy win i see dazzling gleam uh ally switch uh, now that this thing is ally switch it's probably gonna be like the only pokemon in the format that uses ally switch right uh psychic is a good option um skill swap so you can uh swap uh levitate onto something else Thunderbolt's good for like Gyarados probably won't be in this format due to Regilecki running around and you're gonna see like a lot of Raichu and you don't want to like just be giving Raichu a special attack boost right because Raichu comes in a format when Regilecki's around right just like Gastrodon comes when Kyogre's around similar like that um I could see like Psychic Terrain too just so they can't go for priority moves against you in the um in the Trick Room Safeguard to protect you against Amoongus uh, probably mental herb would be the item safety goggles citrus berry like it's just, it's just gonna be a really good bulky screen setter right like if i was to go over the set i'll probably go with this and mental herb <clears throat> with a water terror <laughs> right i mean this would probably be the most consistent um terror for it. <clears throat> i say water terror because you could go for a fairy terror to resist like you know, the Urshifu shenanigans, like Wicked Blow and stuff like that. But I feel like Water Terror, you know, gives you the most resistances as well as, like, neutral hits. And you just being naturally bulky, you'll be able to leave everything and get your trick on up. And they can't taunt you because you had a mental hurt. So Cresselia is going to be really good. And again, excuse my voice, guys. I'm feeling under the weather. Um, so number three, we're going to go with, you know, it had to be one of them, Tornadus. So why Tornadus? So similar to Cresselia, um, about being speed control, Tornadus is gonna be the best Tailwind setter. And it's the bulkiest Tailwind setter. Like you can go Covert Cloak, so you don't need like a Focus Sash or Protect. And you never have to worry about being flinched. You can invest in all your bulk. And you can go for like Rain Dance, um, Bleak Wind, uh, yeah, Bleak Wind Storm, and a Filler Move, right? You could go Icy Wind. You could go Heat Wave. Uh, there's so many options for this last slot. Like, it's it's so good. Like, you could go Scary Face, uh, Swagger, Leer to drop defenses next to, like, Physical Attacker. You can go Substitute. Um, Pranks on Substitute is really good. Yeah, it's just so many options you can go with. <laughs> it's going to be a really good Pokemon. The thing that makes it even better, why it's number three, is that it gets access to all the weathers right so you can set up snow sun sand and rain which is crazy you get all four weathers so you can literally run this next to a lichen rock you can run it next to a lilligant or a jump bluff you can run it next to um palafin in the rain and also the rain helps the bleak wind storm you know be 100 uh, percent accurate and you can run it next to um, Iron Bundle in the snow. Like, it, it gets all of the weathers. Like, it's going to probably be, like, the number one used Pokemon just for its versatility. Um, you could also go Taunt. I would say the most consistent set, uh, Bleak Wind, uh, Taunt, Tailwind, and Rain Dance would probably be the most common set with probably, like, um, Water Terror as well. Yeah, Water Terror. <clears throat> and this will probably be like the most common set, right? Well, maybe not Water Terror since you're um, already weak to Electric. Uh, Fairy Terror, I can see being good. You want to get away from that Electric that electric weakness. Um, even Poison Terror, because nobody's going to want to go for like... They may go for Steel. Nobody's going to go for a Ground type attack until you. But they may go for Steel, like Make It Rain. But other than that, like this is a really good uh, defensive Terror for it, right? And that way you're not still weak to Electric. And like Taunt to shut down Trick Room, get your own Tail one up. Uh, rain dance i can see people going max speed and going for the speed tie you'd be timid going for the speed tie to taunt the other tornadoes so that you win the tailwind ward and tailwind next turn and then you just win you know tailwind i can see that being a thing which is going to be kind of creepy but you know people i've seen it happen with the whimsicots in generation eight where they be max speed and they just go for the taunt the 50 50 and whoever gets a ton off gets to keep their tailwind right for the next turn so our, um, our number four Pokemon is going to be the one that everyone, you know, was sad to see come back, but it's here. It's Landers. 
So Landorus, you know, gets access to his new signature special move, Sanshire Storm, which is 100% accurate in the rain. So it's going to be right next to this Landorus, right? Um, and it's a special variant. So you're going to see a lot of special um, Landorus is more than physical. Even though his physical attack is so high, you still might see a couple. But this with like nasty plot. And then maybe protect. You don't really need earth power, right? You can go Terra Blast. Right, let me see what else special attack it gets. Yeah, this will probably be what you want to do. Terra Blast, uh, nasty plot. Protect. And Terra Fly. That way you get rid of your four times weakness. And you get like a big boost on your um, the stab. And then maybe like a life orb. Just so you can like kind of catch up and damage with the special attack. And I see this like being a really good uh, fun set. And then you still intimidate. Uh, you don't have to go max speed. You don't need much speed to outspeed everything on the tailwind, right? And then, you know, you already immune to Regieleki. Uh Just be wary of this. If you do tear into flying, Regieleki can't hit you with electro type attacks. Which can be scary. Because you're just going to drop to that, right? But... I do see this uh, picking up in usage. Um, I think Tornadus is going to be the highest usage in the format. Um, I think Landers is going to be like top five, right up there with it, along with Cresselia. Um, I think Fluttermane is still going to be up there. And our number one slot is probably going to be um, top five in usage as well. So our number one slot goes to two people, and it's going to be the twins, the Urshifu twins. Rapid Strike and um, Single Strike. So what's so good about these? If you didn't play Gen 8, you have no clue what you what you have in store for you. But they both can go through Protect with physical moves. So you always want to run these physical. And if it's a contact move like Close Combat or it's Signature Move, Surgeon Strikes. Oh, this is the dark one, right? So he's going to get... Uh, Sucker Punch does not go through uh, Protects because it fails if they Protect, right? So you can't go through it with that. But um, the signature move is Wicked Blow, which got a uh, fire damage nerf, which is really nothing. Same thing with this one, uh, Close Combat. This one gets Aqua Jet, so Aqua Jet does go through Protect. So it does have a Parada that goes through Protect. And then this is like the most common set with a Focus Sass that you used to see back in Sword and Shield. You know, um, same thing. But I do, I think this um, Urshifu will always still carry the Focus Sash. Or maybe even choice ban or like on a, t a fast tailwind team. But this Urshifu, I think that people are going to start to play like bulky. Like, I remember like one good set I used to see back in Sword and Shield um, in Series 10. Was actually like leftovers. Um, they didn't have an Aqua Jet. They had bulk up. Bulk up and substitute. Now, I remember this set. I, I think Protect is going to be good for this, but this set was, like, really good. And then you just go all bulk, right, and don't really invest into the attack because his attack is already pretty high. And you just you know you make it just super bulky, right? And I remember this set, like, give it a little bit of speed. I remember this set being uh, really good and kind of caught me off guard when I played it because, you know, you usually expect to one-shot, like, a lot of the Urshifus, they don't really be bulky. They're usually, like, max speed with a Focus Sash. And they live, like, three hits. And it just, you know, it surprised me that how much longevity it had. And now that you can tear, you can get away from that, you know, that weakness. Which is also going to be good for this one. So you can get away from that four times weakness to fairy. Like this, you might see like steel terror. I didn't mean to make it shiny. I wonder if the shiny Urshifu is going to be in this game. Um, yeah, you make it uh, steel terror. Yeah, because Urshifu's weren't shiny in the last game. I wonder if the shinies will be here. And then this will probably be like um, Water Terror to get the most out of the Surgeon Strikes. And get rid of that Fairy Weakness. Now, I, I see this Urshifu being the best out of the two. Um, this was my favorite Urshifu, though. I, I did like the Wicked Blow and the Dark Typing. But we'll see how they do. But there, there's a lot of more sets that I can uh, come up with for this. Uh, I do want to wait till the format starts before I start to reveal like a lot of the sets I have in store. Because I have a lot of team building ideas. And I'm going to make some videos on. So this is my video. Again, I want to apologize to you guys for my voice. You know, I'm not feeling well. But I still want to get some content out. Um, I hope you all enjoyed it. And 
I hope you're looking forward to Regulation D. And let me know in a comment below which one do you think. Um, well, let me know what your top five is. If you think uh, any of these should be um, lower, do you think it's something that I might have overlooked that could be in the top five as well? Um, like I say, Urshifu was number one for me, not number one in usage, but I think it's the number one Pokemon that you're going to like have to prepare for. Like You have to have counters to Pokemon that can go to protect. You have to have Intimidate counters and you know things that can hit ground types. You're going to need your own proper speed control to stop Tornadus, and you're going to need Trickle Masters, right? And you're going to need speed on your team so Regilecki just can't outspeed everything in KO, right? So I feel like you have to have answers to these if you want to have success in Regulation D, but that's just my personal opinion. Like I said, if you like the video, leave a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, deuces.